What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some remastered maps from past Treyarch games I really would like to see come to the game. Uh, before I get into it, if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. Uh, if you enjoy the video, make sure you smash that like button. Check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate GT Racing. They're still having their Christmas sale, so you can use that affiliate link down in the description below. It would help me out and maybe you can find some really cool stuff for yourself or for someone else for Christmas, or, you know, just something for yourself after Christmas. I know shipping and all that stuff in the world right now is kind of crazy if you're ordering online, but give GT Racing a look. They, like I said, they have that big Christmas sale going on, and it should last around the end of the year. So, like I said, you can use that affiliate link down in the description below. So, there's some maps, in my opinion, that I really would like to see return from past Treyarch games. And I started thinking about this list and just jotting some of these names down, and the list got bigger and bigger. Um... I know a lot of people are going to say we want new maps, and I agree. I would love to have new maps, but between last year's game uh, with the Modern Warfare and this year's game, we kind of see that the map pools are very small for 6v6 to start out. And a lot of the map design people don't like. You can not really name maybe one map in this game, in my opinion, Crossroads, that'll be a, a kind of memorable map years down the road. And I'm not sure if it'll even be as memorable as some of the past maps that we've had in other Call of Duty games. But overall, Crossroads is my favorite map. The rest I can tolerate besides Cartel and Miami. And of course, once you take Cartel and Miami off that list, there's not a whole lot of 6v6 maps left. Um, so th there was a lot of maps, in my opinion, that they could have added in from the start. I kind of wish now, in, uh, in, all honest, uh, in all honesty, depending on who makes the game, that you would add in, you know, six to eight, you know, remastered maps right from the start along with your new maps. That way we have a bigger map pool. Just think if we'd have had six to eight remastered maps along with the you know, base maps we got with, you know, when the game was released, we'd have had a pretty large map pool for 6v6. And I'm not, I don't have to have, in my opinion, uh, a remastered map that they've changed things up on. They have done that in the past. Honestly, you can take the original map and just kind of, you know, fix it to look new graphically, you know, to match the game uh, kind of graphics that you're playing. And I would be honestly fine with that. But kind of thinking about some maps, considering we're about to get Raid back, and Raid is one of my favorite maps in Call of Duty of all time, to be honest. Uh, I absolutely love Raid. But I got to thinking, what were some other really good maps? I mean, you can even go back to something like, you know, your BO3 days, even wall running days. A lot of those maps were fine for boots on the ground. You can tell they were just designed to have wall running in them later on. And I'm still a firm believer right now that a lot of the, uh, I still have a little bit of faith in Treyarch to put out some good maps th throughout the different seasons. I'm a firm believer right now that a lot of the maps that we're playing were probably Sledgehammer's maps. And kind of Treyarch got handed those maps, you know, when they got handed the game, when the whole ordeal with Sledgehammer happened. So we may see some better maps in the future. Like I said, I still do have some faith in Treyarch to deliver some nice maps. We kind of have to wait and see, you know, from season one and kind of on forward what Treyarch can bring us. But overall, I was thinking, uh, you know, after Raid, what else would I like to see? Fringe was a really good map in BO3. I really did enjoy that map. Like I said, you can use some of these wall running maps um, and kind of turn them into, you know, those, you know, boots on the ground style maps. There's really nothing different in my opinion. Then I got to thinking of some other maps that I really enjoyed. And I'm hoping I can remember all the names right and the games right, that kind of thing. But Standoff, Hijacked, and Firing Range. Of course, Firing Range has been back over the last few years with Treyarch titles, but I think it'll probably return again because it is one of those fan favorite maps. Uh, standoff was an absolute, absolutely phenomenal map in BO2. And Hijacked, of course, was a great map as well. A lot of people like small maps, like things like Crossroads, like things like Newtown. So I think Hijacked would be a great addition again as also, or, uh, you know, kind of come back as well. Uh, then I thought about Slums, Grind, and Summit. Of course, we did see Summit uh, in BO4, but it's one of those maps kind of like uh, Firing Range and Hijacked and Newtown that a lot of people really enjoyed. Slums was a really enjoyable map. It came back in BO4, so I wouldn't mind seeing it again. Uh, and friend, or uh, excuse me, S grind from BO2 would be another enjoyable map in my opinion. That was a fun map, also. Uh, to me, BO2 and BO1 had some of the best maps. That's kind of what my list is compiled of mostly. Uh, then I thought about, of course, jungle and combine. Jungle now did make a return in BO4, but jungle is an enjoyable map. Not too big, not too small. Combine, of course, from BO3 was a very small map, and I think it could be worked to, uh, you know, kind of worked around some of the wall running areas, which really didn't matter because you can just walk on the ground, you know, play boots on the ground on that map. It is small, kind of like Crossroads, maybe. I don't know if it's any bigger than Crossroads, honestly, or any smaller than Crossroads, probably about the same size. But Combine was a lot of fun. So 
if you kind of can get the idea, there's a lot of things they've made in the past that you could use again. And I, like I said, I would not mind, you know, if they make a new map or two each season, that would be perfectly fine with me. And kind of in these seasons or at the beginning of these seasons or just for the heck of it, <laughs> whatever the case may be, start releasing two or three of these remastered maps. Like I said, just you don't have to change anything with them. You can just kind of throw them in with the new graphics, uh, you know, the new kind of graphic settings, the new engine settings. And I think a lot of players would be happy with that. A few others that I can think of off the top of my head was Havana. I think Havana would be great because it would kind of match that whole idea of the Cold War setting. Uh, Seaside and Hacienda. Uh, I think Hacienda from, was that BO4 or BO3? BO4, I think. I, I may be mis mixing up that, but I think it was BO4. Hacienda was an enjoyable map. Once again, another one you could play boots on the ground. Seaside was another enjoyable map. Once again, good map for boots on the ground, you know, BO4 map. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, Havana. I didn't know. I know that did make a return uh, in one of the more recent Call of Duties, but Havana, I think, would be a very good fit, like I said, for the whole Cold War setting. Overall, between all those maps, you know, we could have a large map pool at launch. And I know that didn't happen at launch, but I'm kind of hoping in the future, these companies, you know, that are making Call of Duty from year, year to year, will start adding a lot of remastered maps in from the get-go. Just kind of start doing them from the start. That way, we don't have to worry too much about having this small map pool to start with. I, I think we're going to continue to have a small map pool from year in, uh, year in to year out because of the new Battle Pass system. Uh... They feel like, I think, money-wise, probably, you know, there's no need in giving a lot of maps to begin with. People are going to buy the Battle Pass, so we can just start putting maps in with the Battle Pass. So they're not probably ever going to give us that whole idea of 10, 12, 13 new maps year in and year out. So if you're only going to give us six, seven, eight new maps, why not throw in, you know, three or four remastered maps at the beginning, three or four uh, remastered maps each season. Like I said, if it's the same maps year in and year out for Treyarch, for Infinity War, I don't think people would have a big issue with that. And I just thought of one more map right off the top of my head, and I hope I get the name right. I think it was Castle in World at War. That was one game that I really didn't talk about uh, having any maps remastered from. But I think Castle was the name of that map. And from what I can think of right now, I think I did enjoy it. So that's just kind of a bonus one. So leave me a comment let me know if Castle's right. But um, overall, I, would, I really would think if we had this the maps that I talked about, if we had some of these maps in, uh, I think people would be really happy. Personally, you know, if I had to just pick a few, Hijack, uh, probably Havana, Summit, uh, Slums, maybe Standoff would probably be my top choices, you know, to kind of go with Raid. Uh, Raid, I, I just can't cannot wait to play it. Raid was so much fun, and it looks like something out of a 80s movie with those Ferraris and, you know, Porsches or whatever they're supposed to be sitting around, you know, in the garage and out front. Uh, I think a lot of these maps, like I said, will fit the whole theme of the 80s idea anyway. Um, of course, we have the new map coming out, you know, the Mall of the Pines. I'm hoping that map's going to be a good map. It looks very interesting. My only fear is I think about, you know, the, the, the supermarket mall, uh, map from Modern Warfare. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head right now. And I absolutely hated it because everybody was just hiding up in the shelves and, and, and you know, kind of things. <laughs> it was kind of annoying. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with some maps uh, that you might like to see come back or, you know, Comment on some of the ones that I talked about. And of course, like I said, just leave me your feedback. Would you like to see these maps year in and year out? Would you like to see more of a larger map pool with just some remastered maps? And of course, if you'd like to hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.